Differentials are the last part of the drive line to talk about. The gear design in differentials requires a high level of extreme pressure additives. These oils generally smell like Frosty's boots after he has done the Gold Coast 600. The smell, at least in the oil's case, comes from the sulphur additives in the oil to prevent wear on highly stressed gear components. Limited slip differentials require specific oils to allow proper function of the friction plates. Using the wrong oil will cause a loud clunking sound during slow speed cornering. It's not damaging in the short term, but it is easily fixed by using a limited slip specific oil. Four wheel drives have a front and rear diff with the rear often limited slip. It is okay to use the limited slip diff oil in both front and back differentials. Due to their positioning, it is difficult to fill diffs and transmissions and may require specific pumping gear or containers with filler tubes to allow filling. Check with the customer to see if they have the ability to get the oil into the compartment as well as containers to collect the waste oil. With safety always the priority, suggest they use jack stands to ensure their safety while underneath the vehicle. Again, asking questions could identify issues or opportunities to sell synthetic oils to overcome a problem or for high performance and race applications. Similar to an engine, there are high numbers of moving parts, stresses and temperatures in the gearboxes and differentials. These strains slowly wear out the protection properties of the lubricants and should be serviced to get the best performance from any vehicle. The adverse cost to not maintaining these important aspects of a vehicle can be huge and completely outweigh the small outlay to purchase the correct fluid. Like engine oils, the oil manufacturer's guidebooks, online data tech and OSCAR methods of selection make it simple to select correctly. You must concentrate as usual on using open-ended qualifying questions. The qualifying questions like, what type of gearbox does the car have? When was the last time the oil was changed? Who's doing the service? Or, are there any performance modifications to the engine which may affect the performance of the drive line. All these questions will help to ensure that you select the best possible product within the customer's budget. By asking questions and learning more about the customer's intended use, you may find that you don't think the guidebook will deliver everything the customer requires. If this ever becomes the case, give a technical helpline a call. All oil companies employ many highly experienced experts who can give you and your customer peace of mind. Don't forget to check that your customer has all the necessities to complete the work. It's not a pushy sale if you're providing the tools to complete the job. It's just further delivering on Autobahn's catch cry of, we know how to get you there. Items such as seals, gaskets, transmission kits and filters, a drain pan or a fluid pump are all items one would require to complete a driveline service. The customer will always pass the blame if they weren't offered the product, even if they knew they didn't have it at home. So don't forget to ask, by the way, have you got the tools to complete the work? Thanks for taking the time to learn a little more about gear rolls. If you have any further questions, please talk to your Castrol representative or visit castrol.com.au.